Hola, let's make an off shoulder flounce sleeve shirt. For this off shoulder tutorial, the first measurement you're going to take is right above your bosom, right here. Take that measurement and then we're going to add an inch to it and we're just going to cut a square. Literally, I'm going to cut a square. So, I'm going to divide that answer by 2. So, whatever that answer was, divide it by 2. Because half will be in the front and half will be for the back. Alright, so when I did my measurement across my chest, it was uh, 33 inches. And so, what I am going to do, actually it's going to be 17 inches because I add my inch uh, extra. So, with my measurement, it was 17. So, I'm going to start from like, I'm going to go to like basically the middle of the fabric almost. What I am going to do, so I'm going to mark my 17 inches right there. And this will be my one inch mark right here. And. Then what I'm going to do, so I want the shirt to flare out more. So I know that this is my start point and that's my end point. I'm just going to bring it down where it flares some. And so the measurement I took at the top of my chest, the measurement I took at the, to the measurement I took at the top of my chest. I'm just going to go down as however long I want the top to be, and I think I want mine to go down about 14 inches. So, that being said, 14 inches stops around here for me. So, I'm going to show stop it at 14 and a half. And then, because I want the shirt to angle out some, I'm going to angle it out because I want it to flare more at the bottom. And just fold it over and cut the other side. My next step, this is going to be the top part. I'm actually going to put elastic in this part. And so what I am going to do is I'm going to I'm going to cut it slightly smaller because I'm going to stretch it a little bit and when I put it in so I'm going to take it slightly smaller than the top up here I'm going to even this out later because it's not even so make sure you angle the scissors. Same way. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fold it. I'm gonna sew this at the ends and make this one and put my elastic through here. So now we have that part, this part, we are going to work on the sleeve. Okay, for this next part, we're gonna take two measurements. We are going to take the measurement from right above, because the, the top, the off shoulder top is gonna to start right there. I'm gonna take this down to about our elbow. So that's one measurement. For me, that's 10 inches long. And then 
we are going at our elbow we are going to take um, measurement of our elbow circumference and mine is nine nine and a quarter inches so divide it in half for the front of the arm and the back of the arm my sleeve is going to go down 10 inches so I'm just going to go here and mark my 10 inches there and then my six and a half so inches so 10 inches down six and a, a little over six and a half underneath Now we're going to cut our sleeves out. All right, and now we're just going to start working on the flounce part of the sleeve. The fabric was already doubled over and I'm going to fold it over again so that way I have the four layers I need to cut for that bottom sleeve. So I need the top of the sleeve because sewing is almost like a puzzle. So I need the bottom of the sleeve to have the measurement of this. So I know that I needed at least this length to fit, fit the bottom of the sleeve. So I'm going to just mark that there. And mark that there. And so then after that, That's the width of that. Then we're going to do, I'm actually going to use a piece of paper for this portion of it. Okay, to draft the bottom of the sleeve, I'm going to need to make a flare. So I'm going to make, so this right here, let me know what size I need the, the sleeve to be. So to connect on the here, and then it's just going to, flare out some. I'm trying to decide should I make it bigger. I think I'm going to make it bigger so I can uh, gather it around the, the edge of some. So that's the length of it and I think I'm going to, I mean the width of it. I think I'm going to go out about, hmm, about three inches wider. I'm gonna have to go down more. So I'm gonna go out at least three inches wider, two and a half, so I can gather at the top. So just make my marks here. And then I know that I want my sleeve to be when I did my measurements. I said I wanted to come down at least six and a half inches. I'm going to make it seven for my seam allowance. And then, so I'm going to go from the two and a half inches out from the top of there. And this is the length of it. So I'm going to be gathering at the top of this. So I'm just going to cut this out. This square. So I took the measurement of this and I went out two and a half inches further out so that I can gather around the bottom of that so that will all be gathered. Cut that out. Then I am going to fold it in half. And I'm going to fold it in half again. And then, okay. and once I do that, so I know that this is going to be the top part where I'm going to gather. And this is the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut of each fold.
after we cut the bottom uh, flounce sleeve up, you know, the paper part, after we cut it, we're going to lay it on the fabric. The fabric is folded over two times. And then we are going to just spread it out. And what I'm going to do, because it's, you know, flopping up a little bit, I'm going to use a little bit of tape and just tape it down. And then I'm going to spread them as much as I can on the, you know, amount of fabric that I'm working with. And then we're going to cut it out. So we have this upper band that's going to connect to the top of this. I'm going to sew the sides of this together. And then I'm going to see if I can fold it in half. And then we're going to feed elastic through. So we have everything sewn. And then I'm going to add a gathering stitch on the top part. The flare part goes at the bottom. So I'm going to add a gathering stitch. I'm going to take my machine to its longest stitch and just do it right there about a half an inch from the top then I'm going to gather it and add it to this sleeve so here find your gathering stitch so here it's gathered so I have my right side up I'm going to take the bottom of the sleeve and I am going to pull the sleeve through there and at the same time flip that up. I am going to match the seam allowances, the, the side seam, I'm going to match the seams together, sorry, I'm going to match the seams together, putting this baby together. And you can adjust the gatherings, you know, as you go. If you put it too tight, just loosen it right on up. Pin it all together. And sew it. So that you'll have your bottom sleeve. Okay, for this next part, I'm going to use elastic thread. If you don't have some, that's okay. You can still do this because this is a stretch material, but does better. With, when you're using elastic thread, you want to make sure that you hand wind it on the bobbin. Hand wind it loosely. It does not have to be tight at all. And once you get it in there, you go ahead and do it like you do regular thread in the bobbin. But if you have an electrical cutter like I do on my sewing machine, don't use this. Don't cut this thread with it. You don't want to do that. And you want to cut it with the scissors. Okay, put your bobbin with the elastic thread in like you normally do with your regular bobbin. Okay, and I'm going to put my machine on its longest stitch. And then I'm going to go ahead and remove this arm so it's a lot easier for me. Now you have your sleeve and it has stretch. I really didn't need to do that gathering stitch, but I had to do it in order to make that fit down in there. So now we have our sleeve. We're going to do the other sleeve and then we're going to connect this to the top. Another tip when you're done, go ahead and take the elastic thread and the regular thread and tie them in a knot. I actually trolled knot knotted mine so it won't come loose. Um, sleeve and we cut off the extra thread then I'm going to hem the bottom of this and then we're going to add it to the top. Okay up next we're going to grab that little top band that we made earlier and we are going to fold it in half. We're going to grab our iron and we're going to press it. Okay. 
And then we're going to grab our flounce sleeve and we're going to put a little steam to the electric tape to make it kind of draw up. So I'm just going to take this in the inside. I mean, pull the shirt top through the inside, right sides together. And I am going to match the seams. Just pin all the way around, leave a little space open so that you can fit the elastic through. Also, just a little tip, if you don't know where to pin it, take your two seams and put them together. Pull your fabric out and mark right at the tip, right where you pulled it off. Mark right there with your chalk and do it on this side. Do the same thing with the waist, with the um, top of the band. And that's how you know where to pin it. And then when we sew it on, we are literally going to tug it gently. Just pull it gently, not tug it. Huh. We're going to pull it gently. But don't forget to leave that little open space. Right here, I'm going to put another pin to remind myself not to go past this certain marking so that I'll have my elastic in. So I'll have two pins there. This next part, we're going to put our elastic in. What I did was I measured around my chest and I made the elastic one inch shorter because this one has a nice little pull to it. And right there where I left my pins for the openings, I'm going to go ahead and put a safety pin on the end of the elastic and feed it through. Taking each piece over to the open lock machine and finished off those raw edges. And so then I'm just going to fold under about a half an inch and then hem each piece, even the top of the flounce sleeves and the bottom. Okay, we're almost done. All right, so what we're gonna, everything is nice and hemmed. So what we're going to do is take our sleeve and we're going to match it up at the seam line, the seams together, and we're going to just literally sew like a little T. I'm going to do it back stitch and do it over maybe about two or three times to make sure it's secure. And then I can show you guys the final results. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.